YouTube was recently named the number one platform for podcast discovery. And the good news is it's easy to add your audio podcast to YouTube. And once you do it, it's set up. You don't ever have to think about it again. So I'm going to walk you through how to add the RSS feed from your audio podcast to a YouTube channel. And by the way, if you have a video podcast, this looks a little bit different. And I'll explain that here in just a minute. First thing to know is if you are setting up a brand new channel for this, make sure you go into settings then channel, and then feature eligibility. And you're gonna have to unlock all three of these, including standard, intermediate, and advanced features. Now, the good news is this is also just a one-time task. They just wanna make sure that you are a real human and you're not up to anything bad. So now I'm over in my main YouTube channel where all the features are unlocked. And to get to this screen, this is YouTube Studio. You just go to studio.youtube.com. Then you're gonna click create in this upper right corner here and then click new podcast. This means it's a podcast that's new to YouTube, doesn't mean that it's a brand new podcast, right? So if you're already distributing an audio podcast, this is still what you wanna click. Now that I'm here, I wanna click this third option, submit RSS feed. So this screen is basically just gonna walk you through exactly what's happening here. And what'll happen is it'll take your audio from your podcast and it'll basically make it into a video by adding your cover art as a graphic that will show on the screen if somebody is listening to your podcast on YouTube. It's also kind of explaining that once your audio gets added to YouTube, it's not really attached to your original podcast host anymore. So certain things that you update won't be reflected later on YouTube. So just make sure you got each episode right the way you want it before you hit publish. Now we're gonna hit this next button on the lower right. And now we wanna add our RSS feed. So the RSS feed is a special link you're gonna get from your podcast host. I use Buzzsprout for mine. And so I come in here and I'm gonna click copy link. Then back in YouTube, I'm going to paste that in and we're going to hit next. Now you might run into an error here where it says, hey, there's no email address as part of your RSS feed. So in the simplest terms, basically, YouTube wants you to confirm that you own this podcast by having you get a verification code from an email that they send you. But some podcast hosts hide your email address, so it's not there all the time. So you may have to go into your podcast host settings and just say, hey, show my email address temporarily. Sometimes it'll have you unlock it and then relock it. Others will show it for 24 hours and automatically show off again. So you might need to take that step. So you can see here now they're saying, hey, we need to send a code to this email address. So I'll hit send code. So now I've got this email. I'm going to go ahead and copy this code. You have one hour to get the code and put it in. Then I paste in the code, hit verify. And now it knows that this is my podcast that I'm adding to my YouTube channel. Now there's a few more important settings that we want to look at here. There are three options. One, upload all episodes in the RSS feed. So this would mean basically you want everything that you've ever published on the podcast and this is probably going to be the option for most people. This second option is if you don't want all of your episodes uploaded, then you can choose upload episodes published since and then put in a date. So maybe you had a pivot in your podcast at some point and it changed focus and you only want the newer episodes. Well, then choose whatever date that happened and then it'll only add newer episodes. Or maybe you don't want any of your older episodes on there, but you want new ones going forward. Then you can click do not upload any old episodes. And this setting down here is going to be important if you've ever had any sponsors of your podcast, and I'm sure the laws vary from country to country around the world, but I know here in the US, if someone paid you money to have an ad in your podcast, you have to declare that in the YouTube version. So this essentially says, hey, you can, all of my episodes have paid sponsorships. You can click that, or you can leave it unchecked if you only have a few, but make sure you go through and designate that in those podcast episodes, because otherwise YouTube might shut your podcast down and shut your account down. By the way, if you only promote your own stuff, like you sell your own offers, nobody's paying you from another company to promote in your podcast, you don't have to check that. That doesn't count as paid promotion, even though you might make money from selling your own stuff. Now there's a couple Couple things over here on the right. The main one I want to point out to you is that they may not upload all at once, depending on how many uploads you have already from the past. It may take a few days because they only allow you to upload a certain number each day. Okay. Once this is all set, we hit next. And now this is just letting you know that initially it's going to be private. So we'll go ahead and hit save here on this box. I'll hit done. Now here in Creator Studio, I can go to content, then I can go to podcasts. And here's the one we just added. You can see it still says processing and it's set to private. But once everything is updated, you can click on details and then you'll go through and change this to public. Now you could go ahead and do it now if you don't think anybody's gonna come across it. But before anyone will see this or it'll show up in the YouTube Music app, you will have to set this to public. 
And then all of this information, the cover art, the title, the description all came from your podcast host. Now, what if you have a video version of your podcast? In that case, you do not want to connect your RSS feed. You want to upload those on their own, because if you upload an audio version automatically through the RSS feed and a video version, you'll have two copies of every podcast episode. We don't want that. The audio version of your videos will automatically get sent to the YouTube music app. So again, do not add audio to YouTube if you're already uploading video episodes. Another advantage to adding your podcast to YouTube, even if it's only audio, is so that it shows up in the YouTube music app. So Google got rid of the Google podcast app in favor of the YouTube music app. So it is becoming the default podcast app on Android phones, which is also owned by Google. So you are going to want to add your podcast this way, even if you're not doing video, even if it's just so you can get into the YouTube music app. Now, if you are adding video, you might want to see what the most important settings are when you upload a podcast episode. So I've linked to a video on the screen that walks through all of that to make sure that you're all set. So you can click that to watch next or check out some of the other videos on the channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.